What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I process raw files using Adobe software and Topaz Labs software. We'll be using Adobe Bridge to look through our raw files. We'll be using Adobe Photoshop to actually edit the files. And I'll also be using Topaz Labs Denoise AI and Topaz Labs Sharpen AI as a plugin software inside of Photoshop. So let's get right into it. What we do is we start off here in Bridge, and what I like to do is just find a nice sharp shot. So this one looks pretty sharp, and it was shot at ISO 3200. So we'll see a decent amount of noise in this image because this was shot with my Canon R7, and it'll give us a good example to show you how good the denoise software really does work from Topaz Labs. First thing we're gonna do in Bridge, and Bridge is essentially just how I look through my RAW files. So like I said before, you're just going to find whatever image you wanna start to edit with, and then you're just going to right click and go to open in camera raw. This is going to open us up into camera raw. And at this point, we're just going to make some very few initial tweaks because we want to overall leave this image alone before we denoise it. But the one thing that we do want to do is go up here into profile and we want to make sure we select whatever type of color profile that we want applied because we're not going to have this option once I go into full on Photoshop. So I'm a big fan of camera faithful and that's usually where I end up landing. So I use the camera matching profile faithful. So it matches the profile straight out of my Canon R7. So we use that. This is where you can make adjustments to your white balance if you want to. I usually like to stick with as shot generally, but this is all just preference. So once you've made sure that you've adjusted whatever color profile you want and whatever white balance you want, the other thing you can check is go down to your optics and make sure that you do have your profile corrections checked off. Usually that's done by default, so it shouldn't be a problem, but some lenses that doesn't happen, so make sure that those are both checked off. Once you've done that, we're just gonna go ahead and hit open. This is going to open us up into full on Photoshop. So we do have those color changes that we made, but other than that, we're still just dealing with the raw file here. Now we're not gonna crop, we're not gonna do anything, and it's very important that you do not crop before we denoise, because we wanna make sure that we have the full resolution file so that we give the software the most information possible. Go up to filter, and we're gonna to go to Topaz Labs and Topaz Denoise. So we're gonna denoise this raw file first. So what we're gonna do is go up to our main subject. So what I like to do and what I want people to understand is this is very aggressive software. It's very good at denoising your images, but it likes to go overboard very quickly. So what I like to start with is going what I consider the least aggressive version of this software, and that's the low light setting here. So I select low light, where by default it's going to be set to standard, but I go to low light first always. And 9 out of 10 times this works very well for me. If low light doesn't work, then my next step is to go to standard where it's more aggressive. But if I can, I stay at low light like I am now. So I go to low light. I'm gonna to go to remove noise and I set that all the way down to level five. I do enhance the sharpness at level two and then we have recover original detail set to 15. Now, once you see this little bar is green, that means that it's applying that. So as you can sweep this line across, you're going to see that it denoises that image quite well and it also adds a little bit of sharpening to the shot. So. Overall, I just look it over. The one thing you want to look at here is sometimes it misses little patches of noise. So you want to make sure that the overall entire image is looking nice and clean all the way across. Sometimes you can get some like splotchiness where it will miss the noise. So if it does that, that's when it's time to get more aggressive. But this image at 3200 in bright light is not looking bad at all. So we're happy with where we are right now. So we're just going to hit apply. And that's going to apply these denoising and sharpening changes into our raw file. But then what it's going to do is once these are applied, it's going to bring me back right to that raw file in Photoshop again. So I'm still here to edit. So this is where I would now think about sharpening this image. So what we'll do now is go to filter and we'll go to Topaz Labs and we'll go to Topaz Sharpen AI. Now, remember, we already sharpened it a little bit with the denoising software. So sometimes it's plenty sharp already at this point, but if you're not happy with it, then this is where you'll go to the Sharpen AI software. Now, what I like to do here is only sharpen the subject 
as opposed to the entire image. Right now, it's going to be applying this to the entire image. Everything's being sharpened. And I don't like to have everything that sharp. So what we're going to do is go down here and right where it says select, you're gonna hit the little toggle switch and turn that on. And that's going to apply a mask. So right now it's trying to find what it thinks my subject is. It did a terrible job of that. So as you can see here, it's selected what is way more than just the bird. So we're gonna go to refine and that's really bad. So we're just gonna click clear and clear that whole mask out. Usually it does a decent job and finds the subject decently well, but it didn't this time. So what we're gonna do is apply it ourselves. We make sure we click add here and we're just gonna paint and you don't need to be very, very exact here over what we want that mask to be. So we want his little beak, his head, his body, his little peats, and his tail feathers here. And once you're close, it'll apply here. Okay, and then what I also like to do is go down and hit Edge Aware and turn that toggle on as well. So we've now got the mask that we want, we've got Edge Aware on, and we're gonna go ahead and hit Update and apply that to now only where we applied that mask. So not everything's being sharpened, but the hummingbird is. And we can sweep across, and as we can see, this is set to too soft, very blurry, and it's doing a very good job of sharpening that right up for us. So I'm actually really happy with that. So let's go ahead and hit apply again. And now we're applying our sharpening changes. Again, just like the denoise software, it's going to apply that, and then it's gonna bring us right back to the raw file. Now remember, we have not cropped yet, we have not made any actual changes like a raw file edit or anything. All we've done is denoised and sharpened using the Topaz Labs software. So once we've done that and we're happy with our denoising and our sharpening procedure, this is where we start to edit it like it was our raw file. So what I'm gonna do now is go again to filter. I'm going to go to camera raw filter and bring us back to that camera raw option. Now, earlier in the video I mentioned that you had to choose your profile and you'll see why here. Now you don't have those options like you did before. And that's why I say make sure you choose the color profile you want back at that beginning stage before we denoise and before we sharpen because now that we come back to do our actual changes, we're stuck with these colors. We're not stuck with them, we can still change them, but you're stuck with the profile that you selected. So now we'll open up basic and this is where you'll make any basic changes that you really want to, right? So like, let's zoom in on this little guy and let's take a look. So I would probably pull the highlights back a bit, not a lot, and maybe add just a touch of contrast, a little bit of vibrance, and overall I'd probably maybe drop the blacks by two. Let's take a look at that. That looks pretty good to me. I don't like to make heavy, heavy changes at this point. Small little tweaks to the lighting, that usually makes me happy. So at this point, I would just hit OK. It's gonna bring me back into Photoshop again. So now what we wanna do is just crop it to wherever we want. So I'll hit C. I'm gonna crop out all that other nonsense. Let's keep the butterfly. Now this is an R7, so 32 megapixel. We can crop pretty heavily. Let's go crazy. Let's crop it real heavily and see what that looks like. Let's go ahead and check that out. So again, we've denoised, we've sharpened, we've edited and we've now cropped, and this is what would be my final image, guys. And it's really that simple. You use Bridge to look through your files, you use Photoshop and the Topaz plugins in Photoshop to denoise and sharpen, make basic changes using Photoshop after that, and now we would export out our file here. Anyway, guys, I hope that this video helped you out a little bit, and if it did, go below, subscribe, click that notification bell, and I'll see you on my next video.